welcome. Today I want to give you a quick introduction to the Yule Festival that is happening on Lord of the Rings Online or Lotro. There are a lot of fun things that you can do in Lord of the Rings Online and for me I enjoy the festivals. So today I'm going to give you an overview of Lotro's Yule Festival. When you first log in, you, there will be a pop-up with information about the festival and usually a map to get you there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we have the quest, Yule Festival is here. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and that gives us the quest, Yule Festival is here. Uh, and we go ahead and take that. What that's going to do is when we complete this quest, it's going to give us a map to Winterhome, which is where the majority of the festival stuff is taking place. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that. And then we're going to go ahead and finish the quest. It tells us to visit the delightful land of Frostbluff where all things winter and all things special are happening. Come quickly. <laughs> so now we're going to get our map to Winter Home. We finish that. And now we should have that in our inventory. There's our map. Okay. So the other thing that's going to pop up for you is you're going to get a pending alert. That's a remote quest. You want to go ahead and take that because that's going to give you also this winter seasonal instances have arrived. Now, it doesn't go away for the rest of the time. So just as a heads up, that's going to be there in your quest log through the entire festival time. But it's a reminder to tell you to go and do the instances. Completing the instances does not remove this quest from your quest log. It will be there the entire time and you can't cancel it. So let's go ahead and use that map and get us to Winterhome. You also have the ability to get to Winterhome from any of the major stables. So we could have gone to, say, Bree and taken a stable master from there. At some point, while you're on the festival grounds, you're going to get a pop-up. And it is this quest that is available, the Yule Festival Daily. It's uh, reasonably you know, self-explanatory as to what it is. It is a daily Yule Festival quest. It's not the same as the wrapper, however. This is just a separate quest that you can do while you are here at Frostbluff. And it says, congratulations, you have made it to Frostbluff. Participate in any Yule Festival activity today and earn a sack of presents. Now this is a repeatable quest, so you can do this every day, and it will pop up at some point while you're wandering around the festival grounds. It might show up when you first arrive, it might show up as you're running to the snowball field, it might be in the middle of town, but at some point it'll pop up for you. Now the fun thing with this is you do participate in any festival activity and turn that in. As soon as you do that, this will pop up uh, back down there at the bottom, and you can turn it in. It will give you some legendary item experience if you are uh, getting legendaries. It will give you a couple of Yule Festival tokens and it will give you a sack of presents. And it can be, the presents can be anything from uh, some Yule Festival tokens to a cosmetic to marks and any sort of uh, random things. Now this quest, however, does not count as one of the 10 quests for your daily wrapper. It's just a side quest that gives you a sack of presents. It's an extra bonus. So I wanted to point that out, but it is nice to have this because it is a bonus and I've gotten some really nice things out of the sack of presents. There will be a main area of the festival and there will be some outlying areas in other low level areas, which means lower level characters can participate in a lot of the activities. Some common features of the festivals include a daily quest to do 10 activities or quests, uh, and we call that the daily wrapper. There will also be a couple layers deep of wrappers, something like a five times or a three times. Um, in this festival, we have festival Yule tokens. Those you'll collect as you do the various quests. And then there's also festivity quote tokens, and you only get those when you do the instances. Uh, and I'll show you where you can spend those here in just a few minutes. The dance instructors are usually also active during festivals, uh, teaching the dances of Hobbit, Man, Elf, and Dwarf, uh, dance and dance too for each of those. In the case of the Yule Festival, most of the activities are happening here at Frostbluff and in Winter Home, the town inside of Frostbluff. Let's take a look at that map real quick. So here we've got the Frostbluff map, and that is the area that we're in. Now you can't ride to here from anywhere else. You have to either arrive by using a consumable map or through the Stable Master. Once you arrive, you've got this area here, which is Frost Bluff, which is the whole area. And there's a lot going on in the various areas. And then inside, you've got Winterhome, which is this, the town inside Frost Bluff. 
you can see that we are here at this entrance. There are two ways to get in and out of the city or the, in and out of Winter Home, the town. Um, you can come in through this direction here or you can come in through this area over here. So that is kind of a map of the area of where we are and where most of the activities will be happening. And this is where you're gonna do your 10 daily quests. There are, however, some outlying areas where you've got some other things going on, just as you do in your normal festivals. So that would be, uh, we've got Ered Lewin, we're uh, in Thorns Hall. You've got some things happening there. Down further south in the Festival Garden in Doolin, you've got your uh, normal things happening there, or reasonably normal. Uh, you've got in Breeland at the Festival Grounds. So remember, there's a horse that you can take from West Bree that takes you up to the festival grounds for free. And the festival grounds has a couple of things happening in that area. And then at the Shire at the party tree, you've got a couple of people there who want you to do some quests for them as well. The horse races are happening, the one in the Shire and the one in Breland. And then there's also a couple of other outstanding quests that you can do. Uh, one that is only done once per character called Yuletide Woes, and that takes place in the Shire as well. The Lotra Wiki has a lot of this information, and Fibro Jedi's guides are also really good for filling in a lot of the details on where to find these things and how, how to get places and what's going on. So we'll have those links for you uh, down in the description. So feel free to jump out there and take a look at those because those guides are really, really great. So for this festival, which is fabulous, you've got a festival announcer stable master, and those are located at Westbury, Kellendom, Thornsgate, and Mickledelving. They offer free travel to Winterhome. The far ranging stable master also has travel to Winterhome for one silver. So we have arrived here in winter, uh, sorry, in Frost Bluff, and we're gonna go take a look here at Winter Home. Now, when you first arrive, you've got a trio of folks right here. We're gonna talk to those, or show you, I'm gonna show you those folks, and then I'm gonna show you a few more folks inside of town. Now, Winter Home is a village inside this area of Frost Bluff, and it's kind of like an instanced area, kind of like Wistmead was back in the Harvest Festival. You can't travel here from just riding in from another area. You'll need to either use that consumable map or take a stable master. And in Frost Bluff, as I mentioned, there are a variety of areas. The majority of the action is here in Winter Home itself, but then we've got other activities such as building snowmen, which happens around here, having snowball fights out here, collecting wood, collecting mushrooms, and trying to cheer up the snow beasts. So uh, these fun and silly things are out here in the wider area. So hopefully you have a mount or you don't mind running. <clears throat> All right, now that we've looked at the map, let's take a quick tour. Upon arrival here in Winterhome, we're gonna see three folks. We've got our friendly hobbit over here, Verbena Greenhand. You might remember Verbena Greenhand here from the Summer Festival. We've also got Dawson Berwick. He is our Yule Festival horse trader. And in the middle is the Winterhome Festival Announcer Stable Master. I don't know, she's got quite the title. Uh, when you first arrive, she does have a quest for you. And if you look at that, that is Stolen Sweets. And what she has is that you're going to travel around the other areas of, of Middle Earth that are frozen. So your Forshell, your Misty Mountains, those sorts of places. So, and she says, one of the great eagles was bearing a, a sack of sweets for the far off Gondor hither to winter home. But alas, the bag was rent and the sweets fell from it as she flew. And she realized her mistake only as the last sweet fell. And with her keen eyes, she watched as wintry beasts seized it and ran off into the snow. So she went and looked, she couldn't find things. And so there they're asking adventurers such as ourselves to go out to those areas and recover things such as hot cross buns, plum pudding, gingerbread, and so on. So if you accept that, uh, when you finish that quest, you'll get two really cool things. One is a title, Bringer of Sweets, which is fun. But the other thing is the Tome of the Yule Rabbit. And it's this cute little white snowy looking rabbit and it has a little, uh, the uh, activity of uh, having snowflakes falling around him as he goes around, as he's just standing there. It's really cute. So that's really fun to go and get. And you could repeat that every year. So you could end up with multiples to give to other alts or to give to friends and that sort of thing. All right, um, the stable master also has the here, the show me your travel destinations. 
and it has those four areas that I mentioned. Now the neat thing is you can use that to get from here to any of those other areas. So it's kind of like a bit of free travel during this festival if you are say in Brie and you really wanted to be up in Thorin's Gate and you don't want to pay for it, you can just pop here, pop there, save you a little bit of cash. It's a little silly because I know it only costs like one silver, but if you wanted to do it, you can. And it also gets you to places that maybe you haven't discovered, especially if you're early on in the game. Okay, so we've seen these three folks here. Now, if you uh, kind of look over to the left slightly over here, we've got this mount vendor here, and she will sell you uh, the mounts of previous festivals, previous Yule festivals for Mithril. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's it's a little pricey, uh, especially if you don't have mithril burn in a hole in your pocket. But if you do, you have the opportunity to get a lot of the previous year's steeds. And so that's kind of neat, especially if you have been particularly keeping your eye on one that you just really want. There's some really lovely steeds. So, all right. So we've taken a look at those folks. So now let's continue our trip into town. So we're going to go down this slope here. And down here, you will find, well, there's Guard Kemper. We're not going to talk to him yet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to Mara Sandy Downs. And just as uh, Rosa Hornblower was kind of a busy person at the party tree during like the Harvest Festival, Mara here gets quite a bit of attention. She has the festival wrapper quests, but then there's also a couple other things that are happening right here. And so this area can get a little bit busy during the festival. So let's go ahead and pick up her wrappers. Now remember, we had that first one that popped up and we went ahead and picked that up. Now she has for us a fortune of festival spirit, a festive spirit, excuse me. And that is your intro, uh, basically saying, hey, go and do some stuff for us. And then when you finish doing all of those, this is going to complete. This is one of our higher level wrappers. This is gonna give you 500 figments of splendor and a, a part of a reclamation scroll, five of the festival tokens and an optional, uh, universal optional crafting ingredient. That's the item you can use for, crit, for getting crits in your crafting. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that one. And then the next one she's got for us is in the spirit of Yule. Now this is our daily wrapper. So she says, there's plenty to do around Frost Bluff. Explore the town and show us your holiday spirit. It may be a bit chilly, but I'm sure you'll find warm company all around. So then this will be your repeatable every day. You're gonna participate in Yule Festival activities in Frost Bluff, and you're gonna do 10 of those. Once you do 10 of those, you turn that back into Mara and you'll get your five festival tokens, plus some cash. And then we've got our pop-up that tells us we have a remote quest, and that would be whoop, one of those that just popped in there. Sorry about that. Uh, the, it'll be the festive flurry. Let me see, let's pull that up. There we go, festive flurry, which is the intro, which is complete the spirit of Yule five times. So just so we can kind of give you your wrapper sequence there. So each day you're gonna come by tomorrow, you're gonna pick up a spirit of Yule. That's your do 10 quests every day. Then when you uh, finish that, five times you get a festive flurry finishes and that's that one right there so you've done your wrapper five times you finish a festive flurry and then uh, from festive flurry that will advance the top wrapper a fortune of festive spirit got that <laughs> it'll just happen for you you don't have to worry about it just come tomorrow every day do pick up your wrapper do your 10 quests and it'll complete for you every time it gets to the right number okay so the good news from Mara is she's not a barterer like Rosa was back at the party tree. Once you pick up her wrapper, then it's time to start looking for the quests and start working on that. But that, princess, is in another video. So instead, we're going to go over here and see some other vendors. So if you kind of turn over to your right, we've got two fellows over here, and they are also very popular. So sometimes I end up just standing on the stage behind them so I can access them. So we, on your left, we've got Jeffrey Bloomer. He's a barter vendor. And on your right, you've got Alex Gray, another barter vendor. If we start with Jeffrey, he has a smaller list of items. So he has the consumables. So, you know, if you didn't get your fill of silly consumables during the Halloween event, during the uh, Harvest Festival, you've got a whole new set of fun things that you can play with. You've got snow jars and flurry snow and snowballs, all sorts of silly things. Um, Jeffrey also has some cosmetic cloaks. 
He's got some housing items. He's got some uh, the titles that you can buy. Now, you don't have to buy these titles necessarily because you can earn those in the Frost Bluff Theater. Uh, but if you don't want to wait for it or if there's one that you just cannot seem to get, you can always come to him and pick up that as well because those do count towards a deed. Okay, so he's got, you know, some various things. Oh, and if you're doing the housing map uh, quest, if you're doing that deed, excuse me, uh, where you get one of each of a, a long list of maps, and when you complete that, that completes a, uh, a deed also, where you get the title uh, Cartographile. And those maps are here with Jeffrey. So, if, and remember that the map deed, you only can get a couple of them at each of the festivals. So you want to make sure you grab those at the, during the festival because they won't be available again, unless somebody's nice and puts them up in the auction house or you have a friend who will loan them to you. Now, Alex Gray over here, he has a much larger list and he pretty much has, I think, most of what all the other vendors also have. There's a few things that don't overlap, but he's got the majority of it. So you've got this year's new rewards are all here and it's a, it's a poinsettia theme. So they've got your red poinsettia tree, a white poinsettia tree, same with the wreaths and so on. You've got uh, your your mounts and you've got the new cosmetics. He also has, if you want to buy it as a gift, you have it gift wrapped and those are not bound until you open them. You've got the new steeds for this year. You've got some cosmetic pets and emotes, a lot of cos cosmetic pets and the frost breath emote. So that's fun. You've got rewards from the past years, and those are mostly are gonna be your cosmetics. So you've got part one and part two, and some even some more in More the Merrier. You've got the dies. So remember each year, um, the plan in my understanding is that two of these are available for the festival tokens, and then the other two are available for Mithril, and then they're gonna swap those every year. So this year you would be stocking up on your Moria Silver dies and your um, Belagir Blue dies, and then next year you'd stock up on your Mossy Green and your Lorian Gold. Okay, so that's what we've got for those folks. Um, Yep. So yeah, and you've got your dies there for, I love to stock up on the dies. And then each of the vendors often will have a demonstration or an illustration nearby of some of the things you can get. So some of the snowmen that are available are here. There's the, um, the stage that you can get. The theater stage is right behind them. The Yule banners, if you want to see what those look like. And actually, if you wanted to see what the, um, horses, what this year's, excuse me, this year's mounts look like. Oops, excuse me, Albert Yule. They are right behind Dawson Berwick. As again, remember, he is the horse trader for this year's Festival Steeds, as is the fellow down the, down the way. But you can actually see what the steeds look like right here. So the Ice Flower Steed is actually a repeat, I believe, because I have that already on a character going into this festival. So that is available, but then also the Yule Gala Steed, where they're kind of going with this... Um, uh, this look with the snowflakes and it's kind of a, a iridescent and also s somewhat translucent uh, look. There's also a cloak that you can get that has that same look to it. So that seems to be another one of the looks that they're going for at this festival. Okay, so there is your overview of how to get to the festival. Uh, what is uh, kind of in general, you know, where things are happening or who you want to talk to. Once you have arrived, uh, here I'll show you how to use the Stable Master again. She's going to send me back to Bree. Um, and then the area you can see behind there that's all very snowy and fun. So there's your overview. I hope that you find that useful, at least in terms of how to get there, who to talk to when you get there, and just a general idea of what the area looks like. Okay, thanks so much, and we'll be showing you another video in just a moment uh, how to get around uh, to get started on being able to pick up all the various quests. There's an introduction quest. We're going to go over that here in just another minute, in a minute, in another video. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.